how to unpause location on Life360. Hi everybody, welcome back to our channel. I'm Bimo from Help Tech and in this card video, I will show you how you can actually unpause your location on Life360. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, then make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button and without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. So first things first, what you have to do is simply make sure you have either downloaded or updated the Live360 app to the latest version. You can do this by heading over to your app store in the search box, typing in Live360. Go ahead and simply either download or update the app. Once you've updated Live360 Family Circle app, I'm going to go over and simply open it. And the next thing you want to make sure is that you are logged into your account. Once you are logged in, you can see this is how it is going to look like and currently I have actually paused my location. You can see even if I tap on the GPS icon, it doesn't really show my location or where I'm currently at. You do not see any type of markups and so on. So if you want to unpause your location, in that case what you have to do is tap on the gear icon which you see at the very top left hand side of the screen go ahead and simply tap on it as soon as you tap on it you'll be able to see a list of all its options right at the third you have another option which says location sharing and all you have to do is simply tap on this location sharing button as soon as you tap on location sharing you'll be able to see a list of all these options and what you have to do is you can see that the toggle right next to my name is off which means that i have paused my location in order to unpause it i would need to simply turn this toggle on right over here as soon as i turn the toggle on now my location sharing has been enabled and you can see that i'm currently in this location which it shows right over here and this is how you could very easily unpause your location on live 60 we hope the video was really helpful and if it did help you make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down below Thank you very much for watching till the end of this tutorial and see you soon in our next video.